restaurant and go left, you say ha. How do you say whoa? Easy. Whoa. When do you say mush? Never. It's only in the movies. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> gotcha. Ah. Ah. Uh, watch it there. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey! Gotcha. <laughs> In time, Buck grew strong as iron. His sight and scent became remarkably keen. Instincts long dead became alive again. He was growing at home in his wild surroundings. And Buck knew that his life would never be the same again. Do you think we could win the race? We have to if I want to keep Buck. Right. You know that's up to your mother and father. Even if you win the race, and it may not even be up to them. It may be up to Buck. Anyway, we're gonna win. <laughs> now it's time for the big test. Sled Dog has to get along with his teammates. See him? Huh? That's our new lead dog. It's Buck, okay? Yeah, listen to him. Hike! I said hike! Way to go, Buck! Hey, he's making him run. Well, looks like he's a leader. They're really running. We just might have a sled dog after all. Only for the race. Don't forget, I'm taking him home to Boston. Uh-oh, it's Tracy. She's the prettiest girl in town. She takes piano lessons from my mom. Hi, Jack. Hi, Tracy. We're just training this canine. Well, it looks like you have your work cut out for you. It's, it's a new leash. Good luck with your dog. It's a new leash. Do you always act that weird around her? Weird? She likes you. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> hey, Rye, I gotta pick up some supplies in town. How about I drop you off so you can do some exploring? Grandpa, I've already seen everything in town. Oh, no, you haven't. bunch more of that food, please. I don't blame you. I finally tried some myself. It's delicious. Hey. Why are you tracking me? What are you doing? A lot of this stuff is kind of silly. I never really noticed it before. You know what I really need? A pair of McHenry waterproof snow boots. Like Jack's. You aren't afraid of looking like a local? I can't train Buck without some good boots. Okay, well, we'll see 
if we can't find you a pair in town. Hey, it's story time. Over the next five months, Buck and the dog team traveled 2,500 miles in the coldest weather of the year. When they arrived at Skagway, the dogs were dead tired. Fresh dogs were called to replace them, and the tired out dogs were sold. Buck's team was purchased by a trio of strangers. There was Charles, who grew up working in his father's barber shop. His wife, Mercedes, was never done a day of work in her life. And Mercedes' brother, Hal, was a mean cuss who played cards for a living. None of them had the slightest business being in the Yukon. But they came to Alaska like so many others, expecting to pick up a fortune in gold nuggets right off the ground. 